boys and girls, my name is Miss Jennifer, and I'm a teaching artist in the Pace Art Program. I am so glad that I could be here with you today. We will be working on an ELA art lesson that has to do with a tall tale called Johnny Appleseed. The supplies you will need today will be a sheet of paper and a variety of crayons. Today we'll be going over a few things that you have been learning with your classroom teacher. We will also be taking some of the things that you've been learning and we'll be adding them to the drawing that we will be making together today. We will be using lines, shapes, and colors on our drawing. We will also focus on directional words, top, bottom, sides, and middle. All right, so we will be talking about the story Johnny Appleseed today. Johnny Appleseed is a tall tale. What do you think a tall tale might be? Hmm. Well, a tall tale is a story that is humorous or funny. Kind of like when you stretch the truth, you don't always say everything that's really true, and you kind of make it a funny story. How many of you have ever told a funny story to someone? Hmm, that looks like quite a bit of you. Well, a um, telltale has to do with things that are funny and you will find that in the story that um, you have been reading and that we're going to be working on today there are a couple funny things that will happen in this story. All right. so how many of you know Johnny Appleseed? Maybe you've talked about him in your classroom. Well, Johnny Appleseed was a very poor man but one thing that he did is he ate apples. People always gave him apples when they would see him. He would save the seeds and then he would plant them. So we are now going to start talking about apples, apple trees, and what his real name was. Johnny Appleseed was born with the name Johnny Chapman, but through his life and his love for apples, People started calling him Johnny Appleseed. Johnny Appleseed was a very poor man. That means he didn't have a whole lot of money and he didn't even have a home. He walked the land and he met people along the way that filled his life and made him really happy. Johnny also um, had to carry the things that he owned on his back, but he was really known for something that he put on his head. If we look here, we will see that there is something kind of odd on his head. What do you think this might be, boys and girls? Hmm. If you said a pot, you were right. Yes, a pot, a pot that you cook food in. And he would carry his pot on his head, one, to keep his head from the sun, and two, so that he could use it to cook with to gather things and also to eat from. And so here is a picture of what Johnny Appleseed looked like. Notice that his clothes are not new because of course he didn't have any um, home so he had to wear what he had. He also does not have shoes. Johnny Appleseed walked all over without shoes even in the winter time. Now, as he grew older, this is what Johnny Appleseed looked like. He had a long beard. Do you see that? So, we're going to now start our drawing, and as we are drawing, we're going to talk about the things that he did, like planting apple seeds, collecting apple seeds, and so much more. So, now let's get our crayons. A variety of crayons will work and a sheet of paper. Now today we're going to be putting our paper standing tall or vertically. So our paper will be vertically in front of us. So let's put our paper in front of us now. Alright, so just put your crayons aside but you will need your black crayon for now and we are about to start drawing. We're gonna draw Johnny Appleseed and an apple tree. So we're going to also, as I said, talk about top, bottom, sides, and middle. 
Today, we're going to be using top, bottom, sides, and middle as our directions as we are drawing. We're going to start off on the side here first. We're going to draw Johnny on this side. And we're going to be using um, some of our shapes and lines that we learned. So let's go ahead and work on his face first. Now his face is going to be cut off on the side of the paper, so I'm going to show you using the edge of this paper. His head will be a shape like this, sort of like half of an oval or half of maybe even a circle. And we're going to look at the top. We're going to go about, down about this much from the top of our paper. And so here I go. I am going to start by drawing his head, just like this. We're going to go ahead and we're going to add two colored in circles for his eyes. Now we're working on his face, so the next thing we need to do is we need to make his nose. And today, we are going to use our curve line that is upside down. Remember, that is our hump line. Now, Johnny Appleseed was a very happy man. He would go around just smiling everywhere he went. And so, I think that we probably should put a happy face on him today. So that would be a curved line. And we're going to do something a little different today. We're going to have a curved line. So that's sort of like our cup line. And then we can make two more little curved lines like this. And that kind of is like the little dimples in his cheeks. And so just like this. Awesome. Your faces are looking great. Now another thing I want to do is I want to add a little ear for him. Just like that. Johnny, as we know, had a pot on his head as a hat. So we're going to be drawing a pot. We're going to start about right here. So we're going to leave this much place from the top of the paper, remembering that we're drawing along the side today. And we're going to draw a straight line. And then we're going to draw another one going down, leaving space right above his head. Because we're going to need to put the pot handle, the part that you hold the pot with. And here we go. So there, we're going to use a curved line and we're going to connect it back to his head. That is the handle of his pot. For this part right here, we're going to use just a small little oval right here. Does anybody have any idea what this little oval uh, might be on a pot? Well, actually, that little oval on a pot is a place where you can put your spoon when you are not stirring it to keep it from getting food all over the counter. And so that is why there's a little hole. You can also use that little hole to hang the pot on a wall or inside of a cabinet. All right, so I think I want to add a couple little lines on his pot. All right, good job. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to start drawing his body. And as we draw his body, we want to put a curve right underneath his head. That's going to be his neck. Now, as we're drawing Johnny Appleseed's clothes, we need to think about this. Johnny was a very poor man, which meant that he didn't have money to buy clothes, and he wore the same clothes over and over again. And so his clothes are not going to be the greatest clothes, but that is okay. You'll see, we'll do a couple of things as we're drawing his clothes that will make it look like they're not new clothes. All right, now I wanna draw his um, shirt. So I'm gonna draw a straight line and then a little bitty line right on the side of it. Next, we're going to start here. We're gonna leave a little space and we're gonna draw the side of his shirt. On this side, we're gonna do the same thing 
Now remember, it's going to be cut off, so we're not going to be drawing all of his arm. And then, this is a place where we're going to make his shirt look like it's a little warm. We're going to use our zigzag line on the bottom of the shirt to show that his shirt is torn a little bit. Awesome. All right, now what I want to do is I want to go back here and I want to draw his arm. We'll draw a curved line. And now remember, we have five fingers. So we're going to use our wavy line. One, two, three, four. And his thumb is behind his shirt right here. And then we're going to do the same thing to this side. We're going to make a hand. So we're going to start with a curved line and another curved line. Then we're going to make one, two, three, four, and five fingers. Awesome. I love your little hands. Those came out really good. Now we want to make his pants. We're going to start right here at the bottom of his shirt. And we're going to go down. And watch this. We're going to go zigzag, zigzag, zigzag all the way to the side of the paper. We're going to put a line right down the middle so that it looks like both um, legs of his pants. So now we have his pants. If you want to add some lines like this on his pants to show that maybe there's a little hole that was sewn together, you can do that. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw Johnny Appleseed's feet. Are we going to put shoes on Johnny? No, we will not because Johnny did not wear shoes and we call that barefoot. Barefoot means you have no shoes. Let's say barefoot together. Good job. How many of you like to walk barefoot? I know that I do. Wow, that's a lot of you. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a curved line and then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and five for his toes one foot and then we're going to go one two three four five for his other foot and now we have Johnny Appleseed. Johnny Appleseed was a very brave man. He was also very happy and he loved people and animals. Even people and animals that he never saw before. He loved them so much that he decided he was going to do something very special. And that was, he was going to take the apples that people gave to him. He was going to save the seeds, and this is what apple seeds look like. And he was going to put them in his pocket. As he walked around, he would plant these seeds. Now, if he planted the seeds, what do you think he might be trying to make? Hmm. Well, if you said that he was trying to grow apple trees, you are correct. This is what an apple tree looks like. Look at all these apples in this tree. An apple tree that um, is planted with other apple trees next to it look like this. And this is called an orchard. Let's say it together. An orchard. So Johnny planted orchards of apple trees for people and animals to eat. He did this for many, many, many years in different states. And as he traveled, he planted trees. So he left behind, after he died, lots and lots of planted apple trees. So um, we're now going to work on our tree. And we're going to use our curved line to do that. We're going to go from the top, and again, we're going to be drawing off to the side. So we're going to go down about this much. We're going to go curve, 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 and curve. That is the top of the tree. And then we know that the bottom is the trunk of the tree, so we could draw a curved line for that. If you want to draw lines to make it look like bark on the tree, you can do that. Now, what is the one thing that I need to add to my tree to show that it is an apple tree? Well, if you said apples, you're right. So, when we make our 
apples, we're going to kind of make them look like a circle, but on the top we can, and bottom, we can, oh, I'm just gonna try that again. So on the top and the bottom, we can kind of make them not so round because not every apple is round. I wanna show you really quick before we finish drawing our tree. This is an apple. How many of you have eaten an apple before? Mm, apples are really good. Well, apples have a stem and they grow on a tree. But they start off first with a flower. The flower blooms and then it turns to an apple. So we'll also be adding some flowers to our tree. Those are called blossoms. Let's say it together, blossoms. Good job. You can see here that I have two apples. Are these the same kind of apples? Hmm. Well, looking at the colors of these apples, it tells me that they are different kinds of apples. If you look at this picture here, apples are red, yellow, green. So they are lots of different kinds of apples. So now let's make our apples. Remember, they don't have to be exactly round because not all apples are round. And I'm gonna make another apple right here. I'm going to put an apple stem. That is part of a rectangle that you just didn't finish. And so I'm gonna do that here. We could also make a leaf, two curved lines together with a line in the middle, just like this. Now remember, we talked about blossoms and we need to add some blossoms. So I'm going to make two circles and then some little circles around the outside for my blossoms. And the blossoms will eventually turn into apples. I'm going to move down here now and I want to put an apple in Johnny's hand. Here's the stem, here's the leaf. And so Johnny is holding the apple. Johnny liked to play a violin. That is a musical instrument. And he would play the violin for all of his friends that he would meet. And he played happy songs and also sad songs. Well, we know that happy and sad shows how we feel. And so maybe sometimes he was feeling really happy. Sometimes maybe he was feeling a little sad. But people love to hear his violin that he played. All right, so we're gonna add some grass. We can add some zigzags to the bottom. And now we are finished drawing our picture. It is time to start coloring. I am going to go ahead and I'm going to get my green and I'm going to start coloring my tree. Now we're probably not gonna have time to color all of our picture together today, but that is okay because I really wanted to see what your trees and your Johnny Appleseed um, little guy would look like if you did not follow the colors that Miss Jennifer did. So there, I colored my tree green and I also know that I could use the darker green and I could add some dark green kind of here and there as I need it to look like shadows on my tree. You can also color the trunk, maybe brown. Now thinking about this, what color do you think our sky might be? Well, if you said blue, you are right. But you could also maybe add some yellow, maybe some purple to your sky if you want. So just think about that when you get to your sky. And there is the bottom of my tree. I now want to start coloring my apples. What color are my apples going to be? Hmm, I think I'm going to put a red apple on my tree here and another one here. But in Johnny's hand, I actually want to put a light green apple. So there my apple. Johnny was pretty amazing in that he always thought about other people as he went along his life and making people 
happy that were around him. And that made him sort of a superhero because people looked at him as a person that did amazing things by planting all of the apple trees, but also amazing because he was a really good friend. And now you can pick the color that you want for his shirt. I picked blue. For his skin, I'm gonna use a peach color, but you can think about it this way. If your skin is a peach color, you could use peach. If your skin is a little darker and you want to use the skin color that you have, you could maybe use like a brown. And there's lots of different um, color browns, light brown, darker brown. I am going to actually color mine with the peach. Now, you wanna be careful because watch this. When I color over black, sometimes it will kind of mix that black with my lighter colors. And so you need to take your time and you need to color around each of the black parts so that you don't get all of that black on your lighter color. And I'm going to now color his arms. So we'll color his head, his neck, his arms, and his feet. Those are all gonna be the same color. Good job. These are looking so nice, boys and girls. The next thing I have are his pants. And I think I wanna color his pants dark brown. So I'm gonna color his pants just like this. Now remember that you can go back and you can make some parts a little darker so that it looks like there is like shades on your picture. And shades basically means that there are areas that light doesn't hit and it makes it a little darker. So there are his pants. Now what color do you think his pot would be? Do you think that his pot would be black or gray? Of course. But remember this is a very old pot and an old pot would have rust on it so we could even add some brown. I'm gonna use my black to color in his pot. Boys and girls, he also used his pot as a hat. I like that idea. Okay, so there's my pot and I'm gonna add some brown because I know that he had to have a lot of rust on his pot because the rain would hit it on his head as he was walking and water sometimes will make things rust. Now, I want to also add some hair. So right here, I'm just going to kind of add a zigzag line and color it in for his hair. I put black, he could put brown. We're not really sure exactly what color his hair was, so it's really up to you. Now, I forgot right here to color the sleeve of my shirt so I'm gonna go back and I'm going to color in the sleeve of my shirt, just like that. And I can also add another line here to make it look like the sleeve on that side of his shirt. Notice that today we made our picture kind of go off to the side on each side of our paper. We drew almost to the top and we drew on the bottom but in the middle here we left it white what do you think the middle part will be well if you said it is part of the sky you are correct All right so i want to go back and i want to add a little bit of blue here and the amazing thing about drawing and coloring is that you can always go back and you can add other things or other colors to your picture once you are finished drawing. And so again, you could spend time doing that today. You could definitely add more apples. You could add maybe something in the sky, like maybe a sun, maybe some clouds. And I think for my blossoms, I want to use pink for the flower. And I'm going to use yellow for the insides of my blossoms. Alright, so your 
pictures are looking so amazing, boys and girls. Good job. And so, as Johnny went along his journey in playing his violin, he sometimes would also tell stories. And remember, we talked about what those stories are called. They are called tall tales. And in his stories, sometimes he sort of stretched the truth. Sometimes some of it was real, but sometimes he kind of made up other parts of his story. And so I want you, when you have time, to think of a little made up story that kind of stretches the truth that you could share with someone in your family or even maybe your close friend. I think that would be a lot of fun. So now I use my blue. I'm gonna use some yellow in my sky. And the thing is that you could probably add lots of different colors to your sky because sometimes our skies are different colors. They're not always just blue. Now I'm gonna color my grass at the bottom of my picture. Now, I colored in everything, but I still wanna go back and I want to make sure that I take my time. I add some of those little shadows. Maybe I add different colors. So like my grass could maybe even have some brown because maybe the ground is showing through. Maybe you wanna add some darker blue to his shirt or like purple and so you could do that. So boys and girls, I want you to um, finish drawing your picture and making sure that you can add some of the colors that you would like besides just maybe all blue. Maybe you could add some purple to a shirt. That always makes it fun for me. Today, we learned about Johnny Appleseed and how he became famous for planting all the apple seeds around the world. He worked hard to plant these seeds to feed animals and people. We drew a picture of Johnny Appleseed with an apple tree using lines, shapes, and colors to create our drawing. We also used directional words like top, bottom, sides, and middle while working on our drawing today. I enjoyed making art with you today, and until next time, I want you to finish coloring your picture, and I want you to share it with some of your friends. If you have extra time, you could add more apples to your tree, or you could even add more things to your picture.